like I like the ones that don't have a pop up in my face every minute I play. Like uh, VV doesn't have that. But I'm also a gambler, so I really love gotcha things. <laughs> like, I usually have an itch to go to the casino. Which last time I went was like two weeks ago. Brought 50 bucks, came back with 50 bucks. We're good. We, we get out of that casino, you know. But a lot, a lot of these gacha games, like Street Fighter Duel, I played at my last, at my last job because I was on the job. But as soon as I quit that, uh, that game just left. I was like, screw that. I'm not getting a pop up in my face every time I play. Hey, here's a here's a pack for a dollar. Here's a pack for five. You know, like I said, VV doesn't do that. They just, they make the announcements when you log in after a patch and then that's it. Or every time there's an update, they, they, they give you like, hey, here's what we did. Here's what the shop looks like. They, they, they scratch my gambling addiction. <laughs> and because it's, uh, it's free, you can, you can roll with free money, so. You, you don't have to spend, you know, it's the best of two worlds. And you know, VV has cute girls. What's not to like? What's not to like for an otaku like me, right? <laughs> I made myself laugh. But yeah, I mean... Let's be honest, I'm not playing it for the gameplay. The gameplay is, is just clicking around. But it's relaxing as well, you know, it's different. Like Lethal Company is so much fun. Because I've never died so much in a game and laughed my ass off at the same time. So there's really, it's really like... There's two things that makes the game addictive, really. The gameplay and your friends. Just <laughs> playing a game with a lot of friends, with your little, with your squad you get. Like, let's say you have a squad of four, it's so much more fun. I remember the good old day of PUBGs. We had a squad going, and it was, uh, it was so much fun. And then we had a falling out. So that game became, you know, not so fun anymore. <clears throat> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Alright, we're gonna over... We're gonna... We're gonna use the link. <clears throat> so yeah, a lot, a lot of games is because you play with your friends. That, that makes them so much better. Reverse Never heard of that. Oh. Perfect dodge. You don't this. Oh. Yeah, the monetization is what kills the kills it for uh, for me too. That or well, eventually you hit a wall, right? In every one of these games, and their hope is that you'll spend money to to beat that wall. But like I say, if you. I was working in a water treatment facility for a city. Like on the weekend, you're alone, so you got nothing to do. <laughs> so I could just spend hours playing until there was nothing to do and then grind the wall instead of paying. But I get a lot of people, well, what they call whales, right? That just spend so much money on games. 
They gotta be rich, because... Jesus. It's like skins in Fortnite. I, I don't get... I don't pay for that. I don't pay for that. Then again, I got lucky. My friend gave me a code for the solo mode so you can farm V-Bucks. I haven't played that game in weeks, if not months now, but... Oh. <clears throat> but yeah, I forgot who started it, the whole monetization. I know League of Legends is a big culprit. Because back in the day you had to buy those. Ah, oh, she healed me. Yeah, exactly that. That wall and keeping track of the cheer list, yeah. Because no matter what you do, if you if you don't play with the top meta or the new characters, which are pretty much what they go for, then they're usually OP as hell. So you got to... Uh, Alright, that's it for the ad. <clears throat> again, I'm gonna shell for Doa XBV. You can play with whichever girl you like, really, <laughs> as your main character. To beat the, uh, the event every week is just... Yes, you have trendy... Because instead of collecting characters, you collect swimsuits. So if you have a trendy swimsuit, you, you, it's going to be easier to climb than if you don't. But you also unlock the girl, and there's not... Anyway, it's, it's a bit complicated to explain, but... Like Street Fighter Duel had just so much... Characters to grind for and unlock, and then uh, it just beca it becomes a, a job, right? That's what I don't like when the game becomes a job. Whoops! What's happening here? What are we doing? Okay. <clears throat> So that's what these games these games become like a daily grind, a daily job. Like I used to love Overwatch One. What happened there? I mean, I grinded back to Grandmaster back in the day. And now I, Overwatch Two, I can't even touch that shit. Because I... Uh, like the best characters are locked behind the... Uh, the battle passes, which you have to either grind... Almost... Like a job every week. Oh, fuck. Or pay money, so... <clears throat> the game effectively becomes pay to win. Like, I'd rather pay... Like I did with Overwatch. Pay the game at the start and get everything for free. And I don't have to grind the game. It's the same thing with Smite. I paid $30 at the start. I don't know how much it is now. And you got all the gods unlocked. So... That was a good deal. Exactly, I see. You go to university and you got a job. My, my god, you're more busy than me. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not that busy right now because, well, I'm a streamer right now, so. But, yeah, even when I went to school, I got lucky. Because I lost my previous jobs, my previous job due to uh, massive layoffs. So I got, I got into a program that was paying you to go back to school. So I didn't have to work. 
so I don't imagine going to university and working, man. I'd, be, I'd just be like, fuck this. I'd probably quit. <laughs> don't quit, though. Keep going. <laughs> Such a bad motivator. <laughs> I'd quit. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can work hard on things. It's just I don't like to have a lot of things to work on. GG. Like I used to do powerlifting two or three hours a day for six days. And I could lift almost 500 pounds on the floor and everything. I, I was very strong, but 